you know if you call OJ a murderer, that's defamation? That's defamation. You cannot say that. He was found innocent in a court of law. What if you call him an unconvicted murderer? No, I don't think you can say that either. No. Do, we, do you think OJ did it? Well, not now. <laughs> the f- just trying to set me up. Yeah. It's, yo, that was, was that crazy, about? Dude, yo, that was crazy. What was that about? That was You're right. Crazy. That was a terrible set. <laughs> that was insane. Listen, yeah, I'm Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. And today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Pull up Squarespace for me. There you go. Pull up Squarespace for me, Alex. Squarespace got the beautiful templates. Oh, my God. Taylor's high as shit. Squarespace got got all the templates. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business, okay? There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile, and it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag-and-drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Let's start the show. Hezzy! Yo! Hezzy got date night tonight, okay? So we're going to give you a hot 65. Not, not, it's going to be a little longer than that. A little longer? Yeah. Okay, a good hot 75. We're going to do at least 75. At least 75, 75. 15. That's a nice little drive. You're driving somewhere right now. We're going to have it ready for you, okay? Locked in. Taylor, We're all locked means in. necessary. We're Let's go, in, Taylor. Taylor. What you got for Let's us? Go. Okay, well, Let's go. Heat off the top. Heat off the top. Speaking of affection, right? Okay. So. Here we go already. Let me ask you a question. You're white, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so there's. Wait, what do you mean I'm white? So look. No, so, what, you asked me a question. Look, what is that? Like, look, you asked me a question. What does it what mean does I'm white? Yeah. So, what, what do you I'm mean saying, by that? I'm asking that. No, no, but I didn't answer you. What do you mean I'm white? She's high. You are <laughs> a white male, Get your phone right? out, out. I know this. Yo, I hate when what? people ask answers. Yeah. Stop asking answers. You know he's white. Why would you ask him that? Andrew, you white, right? I don't know if I'm white now. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know. Taylor, you short, right? Yeah. Charlie, you extremely handsome, right? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Don't ask answers, <laughs> ask Crystal. questions. Crystal. Okay, I hate when people Extremely, that. extremely is crazy. I mean, yeah, that was wild. extremely? That was extremely wild. what? Hands, like extremely. Come on, man. Of course. Yeah, you got handsome moments. Okay. That okay, little GQ okay. moment for you was okay, handsome. Okay, okay. You that know what it is? Handsome, I'm going to tell you what it is. It's the side profile. Somebody hit me at the portrait picture. Nah, it was I a portrait picture. when you had the gray jacket or something like I'm that. I'm going to show you. I'm a, how do you oh, show I know that? you got it. I know you got it. <laughs> you know, it's I know favorite. you got the greatest moment of your life. <laughs> no, yeah. no, 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 no. This, this is a new one. This happened yesterday. Oh, let me see. Hold on. I was down in Atlanta yeah, at the so Operation handsome. Hope. Uh, forum with my man John Hope Bryant and Bishop T.D. Jakes. Oh, and Bishop T.D. Jakes is there? Yeah, man. Hold on. Let me see if I can find this portrait picture. Now, you, you come on now. Let me see that. That portrait pic killing them. Bro, I'm not going to lie, come man. Come on, yo. I'm come not going to lie. You're come eight. on, yo. You, you. Show the people. Bro. If I needed aid for my country, you'd give it to me. Bro, I'm telling you. If I needed oh, aid for my, if I needed military aid for my country. Zelensky like that? Come good. on, yo. If Zelensky on, had yo. those that's lips good. right Come now. on, yo. Come on, yo. If Zelensky looked he, like that. He, he wouldn't have to ask right. twice. Biden to give it to him with he no hesitation. Have to ask that's twice. right. One time all I'll use those need. lips for something else. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? How bad you want to have a country. That's true. <laughs> that's, that's what Biden got to ask. How I'm bad to you want to have borders? Something, some, something's going on. He ain't just getting that money just because people gotta care. He got to do something. Yo. If I'm Biden, I'm looking right at him like, yo, you want to be Russian or not? <laughs> you want to be Russian Yo, do you want to be from Russia or not? Biden is sniff yo, Zelensky's hair. Russia or not. <laughs> 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 what was that Cameron song? Suck it or not. Suck it or not. Suck it or not. Mm-mm, mm. Okay. Now, what did this have to do with Andrew being white? It says Drew Barrymore. I'm not white, yo. The rest is Oprah Winfrey. I'm Asian. So I'm an can, Asian man. So look. I'm an Asian man. And don't tell him he's not. He can identify whatever you want to identify. I identify as Asian. Okay, so my question wasn't wrong then. No, so, you did. You asked me if I was white. Look at me. Answer. Tell me I'm not fucking Asian right now. Say I'm not, <laughs> yo, say I'm not, say I'm not fucking look, Asian look, right now. Look. Chris is like, simmer <laughs> down. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know if Chris was bowing. Chris <laughs> 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 Because he recognized. It took me a second. He yeah. recognized yeah. 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 to he another fellow Asian man. He was like, oh, he got it. He got a higher belt. He got a higher belt. His belt got more stripes than mine. I'm literally, okay. yeah. What is this? So what, look, what's the point? Even, they're laughing or making in the comments. Why is her hand black? 
Oh, oh all right. <laughs> Why is her hand blank? I didn't. I thought she was holding her own hand like oh, that. Oh shit, that I looks think crazy. I might have, oh yo, fuck. I'm a, yo, screenshot that for me. Yeah, that's I'm crazy. I'm gonna post bro. that and say, yo, what the fuck? Yo, is Drew Barrymore got <laughs> vaccinated again. Yo, how many, how many, how many, how many vaccines Drew Barrymore got? <laughs> Drew got this game crazy. Ooh, what, 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 yo, oh, Taylor, like, give me my hand back, bitch. Taylor, you still ain't gave me no context. Yeah. Basically, I just told you there. This is weird. Comments. It's weird. Why they're won't in, she give her a hand back? The color. They're in the comments just laughing about how she keeps caressing. Oprah. First of all, you got to understand. Well, first of all, I, I fuck with Drew Barrymore. I like Drew Barrymore. But here's the thing. She never, Drew Barrymore has a daytime talk show. Yeah. That is the god of daytime talk shows, yes, Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. All of them act like that when she goes on her show. Sherry Shepard acted like that this week. Mm. Drew Barrymore is acting like that. Because for her to come on Drew's show is kind of like a validation. It's yeah. like a stamp. Stamp. Like, Oprah not going to waste her time coming on no show that ain't getting no numbers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Also, touching someone that wealthy, like... Is that you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all, what the fuck was I watching the other day? I was You know what I was watching? I was watching an old John Stewart, Bill O'Reilly Oh, when he, interview. when he lit him up? But this was when he was on Daily Show. Oh, he brought and, O'Reilly and on And Bill Daily. O'Reilly was like, the most powerful... They were talking about racism. He was like, the most powerful man in America is a black man, Barack Obama. And the most powerful woman in America is a woman, Oprah Winfrey. A black woman. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And John was like, I don't think just because you give out cars don't make you the most powerful yo, first black woman yo, in the world. Yo, <laughs> she is, though. I think Oprah was more powerful than any other woman in America. Um, What woman? You just want people to say. You just want people to say tell. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. No, Here's I'm saying thing. back in the day. Oh, back in the day. Okay, yeah, back in the day. Back like, in the day, it was not There's no woman yeah, that yeah. is as close. Say what? Hillary. Nah, nah, What no. the fuck was Hillary. she doing? Serving nah. pea soup in the Hillary, Oval Office? Hillary needed, Hillary would need, <laughs> Ob- <laughs> Hillary, <laughs> Hillary would need <laughs> Oprah stamp. <laughs> son, son. Back in the day, Hillary would need <laughs> Oprah stamp. That Oprah Winfrey show was such a powerful vehicle, there was not no more powerful platform in the country, in the world. It's true, man. You go on Sell out any book. Sell out any book. Sell out any book. Think about all the stars she made on that show. Yo, Dr. Phil mm-hmm. was a regular. Bad Dr. Baby. Oz was a regular. Fucking um, uh, uh, Ayanna Von Zant was a regular. Gail King. Uh, Rachel. Nah. Rich Rachel. Rachel Roy or Rachel Ray. It was one of the Rachels. Yep. Roy. All of them popped off because of Marianne Williamson. All of them popped off because of Oprah, yo. Oprah. No, nobody's denying Oprah's the king. Yes. But let go of her hand, yo. Yeah, why? I'm surprised Oprah ain't say something. Like, Drew, let go of my goddamn hand. Well, she was telling the story talking about letting go. I mean. Hold on, who was telling the story about letting go? Yeah, this is a bit much. I didn't, okay, this is crazy. But what is now she on there for? Is she over. promoting The something? color purple. That's why she dressed like yeah, that, yeah, right? Yeah, the yeah, color I purple. figured, yeah. Oprah's still have fly, you seen, Have you seen it? I heard it's really good. What? The color purple. Nah, that's my wife. My wife has two favorite movies, color purple. The old one? Jones. No, there's a new one that's coming up. Yeah, this is a musical. Part three? No, man, it's not a party. Because <laughs> it went color purple, precious, and then what's oh, this one? Oh, wow. It's a, this, this is a reboot. What's, this is a musical. What's, what's this? They're not singing, are they? Yeah, they're singing the whole movie. Fantasia's in it. Uh, Taraji P. Henson. Hold on, they're singing it? The whole movie. Yeah. What are they singing? What are they saying? Don't give me that look. What Ain't are they no saying? Ain't no good gonna come to you until you do right by me. Ain't no good gonna, gonna come, come to you until you do right by me. I said, ain't, ain't no good, good gonna, gonna come to you until you do right by me. Because hey, hey. ain't no um, good gonna boop come boop to you until you do right by me. Yo, that beatboxing was crazy. Was Bro, that beatboxing I just did <laughs> was crazy. She finally let go of her hand. No, she didn't. Salute to Drew Barrymore, man. Taylor, I don't know why you, are you still, I need to know why you led with Andrew, you white, right? And yeah, then, what does my whiteness have to do with that? What does that have to do with that video? I'm so, fucking, I'm Asian, yo. Because I saw in the comments, I'm saying, you Don't know, even. They're saying that that's, 
Some Chris. <laughs> we got it. Yo, uh, Chris. What are you talking about, Chris? What are you talking about, Chris? What am I using now? You can know karate. Yo, what am I using now? 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 Andrew cooked the coke with the nunchucks. What are you doing? He whipped that shit with the nunchucks. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. The only person who can use nunchucks and with coke at the same time is motherfucking um, China Mac. China Mac. China That's Mac. good. China that was really good. Shout out to China Mac, but for real, I'm what? stirring it up. Taylor, you still ain't tell us why you led with Andrew, you white, First right? Of all, I'm trying to. You keep interrupting. Come on, Taylor. I need you to perk up. You're I'm sitting over there like a soup think... dumpling. I'm asking. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> From Brooklyn Chop House. That ain't no soup. Like, that yeah, shit got protein no. in it. What's going on? That's right a lobster now? dumpling. What's she That's doing a lamb over there, gyro man? dumpling. I need you to get charged up. That's a up. Philly cheesesteak dumpling. Oh, you said the magic word. You know magic Brooklyn Chop House got you Philly cheesesteak dumplings. You ever no, had one? No, tell no, no, no. Hell no, yeah. No. You never had a Why Philly cheesesteak? Why you don't go to Brooklyn Chop House for date night? Say what? Why you don't go to Brooklyn Chop House? What's the percentage? Um, yeah. You stand out in there. Yeah. I'm going, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I told you where I was at. Remember I sent you that video for when I was at the Harlem, uh, when it was at Red Roosters? What the f Oh, you was at Red Rooster? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, when yeah, I sent yeah. you the video, the oh, white lady Red tap Rooster dancing. Poppin'. Red Rooster popping. No, it was amazing. First of all, every, if you're in New York and you have a weekend, go up to Red Roosters and they do this like Harlem. gospel brunch in Harlem. is incredible. But <laughs> He went to a gospel brunch. It was my, my <laughs> brother-in-law's birthday. He wanted to go there. And it was uh, incredible. I've been there before, by the way. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. But uh, there was this uh, politician tap dancing for the black vote. Oh, that's what I that sent was. the video to you. Oh shit, it you're right. You're Kristen right. Gillibrand you're right, you're right, or whatever her name right. is. What's her name? She was dancing her Son. ass off, man. And she went up, she was like, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate you. And then then the lady who was running the whole show goes, you know what? We gotta sing you a happy birthday. Come on up on stage. This poor white lady never heard a black happy birthday. Is that the Stevie Wonder version? Happy birthday to you. Bro, the white lady happy ran out of dance moves 15 seconds in. Bro, she did this. She she did the side side, and then she just sat there grabbing her fucking thighs, Listen, <laughs> just waiting for the song to be black over. Black people making white politicians dance is revenge for minstrel shows. That's what yo. we need to do to Zelensky, bro. She got to do something. That. Why the fuck is Zelensky getting all this money and we ain't seeing no tunes? Used to be a reality show shop. Star, give me a routine, Zelensky. Can we get a free stand up in America? Something? Go run to get me some cheesecake from Brooklyn. Or something, whatever. yo. What did Diddy make? Come on, do? man. Let's not forget Zelensky used to be an entertainer. What is he doing to get all that money, man? Mm. Come on, show me something, Zelensky. Mm. A little two-step. What kind of dance you want, bro? The Russian shit. Yes, right? that's Russian... what I was just thinking. Come on, bro. I was just thinking the Come same on, shit. Bro. And I want you to do it with a fucking bear. I want you and the bear <laughs> dancing together, Zelensky. All this fucking money they getting. Huh? <laughs> Send another 60 million, Al. Come, what billion. could you do with the six? Billion. It's not billion. I saw a B. Oh, I, oh, dancing ain't enough. Am I lying, yo? Am I making hey, this up? Hey, dancing ain't enough. You got to go on the Drew Barrymore show. <laughs> Play that camera yo, on record, man. You got to go on the Drew Barrymore show. <laughs> Play the camera on yo. record, man. Hold on. Zel how you spell Zelensky? Uh, uh, Let me put Zelensky, 60 billion. No. Let me see. They say that's what he asked for yesterday. Yep, Zelensky. God damn. Yesterday it said Zelensky. Uh, but that only includes. That's not all Ukraine. Man, this shit right here says Zelensky travels the U.S. in an attempt to save $60 billion deal. They said Biden lost his temper with Zelensky on Halloween over Ukraine aid. You think? On Halloween. At some point you got to be like, I've given you motherfuckers enough. But do you think he surprised Biden? That's why? What you mean? You think he just snuck up behind him and... Boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's scary to a 90-year-old man, right? Like, then it was a phone him. call. No. Yo, do you think Biden is used to hearing the phone ring a certain way because he's so old? Yeah, the ones saying. that you go like this? Yeah, on the, the rotary phones. Like, he's, yeah. He hears this new shit. He probably, what the fuck? It's in his pocket vibrating. He's like, what the <laughs> fuck going on in my pocket? There's a squirrel. <laughs> Someone put a squirrel in my pocket. Someone done snuck a squirrel in my pocket. <laughs> Barack, hey Barack, Barack, did 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 you put a squirrel in my pocket again? Is that a squirrel in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? What you doing? What you doing? Biden possessed me. 
<laughs> Mind possessed. Oh, Come man. on, bro. That was crazy right there. You just did it yourself. You, <laughs> you got to chill out. You got to, you hit. Man, you're so stupid. So I thought you was wiping water, but you went back and forth like eight times. You was DJing. I was trying was to rub, DJ? I was rubbing the squirrel. I meant I mean, to rub my were, thigh. You, yeah, you were rubbing the squirrel. I don't got nothing there, no way. Ain't nothing to rub. Oh, where? Um... No what else we got, Taylor? <laughs> Boosie was not what? Impressed. With restaurant food. Why don't you ask me if I'm white before okay. we did this one? Oh, I got you over it. Boosie think he's Keith Lee? Can you check on our food? Because if they don't come in the next five minutes, we leave. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's five minutes. Man, it stay cold and everything. Where is he eating at and why? It is not hot. That's it, man. What did he do? Like what? Taylor, you gotta tell me the point of this story. And you gotta, I, I we don't know. He, he, he didn't like chip. the food. Yes. Taylor, this was horrible. That nah, wasn't a good one, Taylor. Salute to Boosie. Yo, shout out Boosie. He's right. Have you ever done that though? You ever ate, 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 eaten at a nasty restaurant, but asked for it to go box anyway? Nah, that's crazy. Nah, why would you do that? Nah, that's crazy. Unless he was really, really hungry, high like Taylor. No, not if Feel I'm going to tell him what? it sucks. You spending money on food and it's ass. Feel bad for what? The customer is always right. If I go to an establishment and somebody doesn't, and I don't like their food, I have the right to either tell them or just leave, pay, and never go back there again. And it's worse. Your word of mouth is worse. Telling people that that place sucks is worse mm -hmm. than putting them on blast. That's why I don't like when people ask me if I like something. Yo, somebody did that to me today, yo. Don't do that to me. Don't. And they did it while we're, we're in the midst of recording mean? something. Somebody asked me if I like their music, yo. Who? And it's one of my partners. I ain't like that. Who? I don't even need to say it. Y'all probably see it by the time this come out. Don't <laughs> add that. Why would you ask me this in public? Well, if it's already going to come out, just yeah. tell us. <laughs> Who was it? I don't want to say, man, because I don't want to shit on them. No, nah, but you already did shit on shit them. It's going to come out who? Well, let them figure it out. <laughs> All I'm simply saying is don't ask me things if you're not sure what my opinion is Party? in public. How you know? I just <laughs> yeah. had a feeling. How'd you know that? I had a feeling. Somebody said that? No. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I know. How you know? Well, I listened to his song and it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it really did. Don't do that to my guy. <laughs> Which song you heard? The one where he dissed Megan or whatever? Oh, we got into it about that. We didn't get into it about that, but I, yeah, I didn't. I, you read, ever read the lyrics to that shit, yo? Yeah. That shit is a bit much, yo. It's a lot. Like, bro. really? It's a lot. Really? First of all, Partisan can rap his ass off. No, Partisan his is nice. He has very clever bars. Very. That, but the way he rapped it, I thought, wasn't very engaging. That was... It's, it's really one of the greatest diss records of all time. If you just look if at the lyrics. If you actually look content, at bar for bar, that's yes. why I'm, I'm listening to it. I'm like, ooh, these bars are great, but the batteries are low. He went too crazy, man. He went too crazy. He went too crazy on that record, and I told him that. But this wasn't even what we was talking about. Oh, He's got a project about? coming out called um, Sex Tape. It's called Sex Tape. And I like Partisan Fontaine, you know what I'm saying? I just like a certain type of music from Partisan Fontaine. Like? I like I like when he on that street shit, you know what I'm saying? I like when he, I like that Newberg dirty gutter. And what's crazy is, and this is what I'll never understand about super dope artists, creative artists, creative people. We're having this conversation and he's letting me, he let me hear a record that isn't on the album I had. He said it should be on there this week. Live? He lets you hear No, no, no. Song? He let me hear it afterwards. That shit's so hard. That shit called polygamy. That shit's so hard. I'm like, this should be the intro to the fucking album. But why isn't it? I don't know why creatives do what they do. I don't uh, know. I, I will never understand why creatives do what they do, man. Yeah, it's tough. I will never understand it. Like, the, the hot shit... Why is that not on there? It's a no-brainer, mm. you know? So I don't know. But he just asked me what my favorite song was on the album. And he was like, but you already told me you don't like it. So I just kind of sat there stupid. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and then he asked me again. Oh, no. I'm like, bro, you just, you just said what I think. The, what did the, he do? This, this ain't the partisan music I'm into. 
Yeah. You know, not was, saying other people won't be into it. Was it a love song or something? Yeah, it's like the whole album, it's like like three or four songs that he said he recorded prior. But you know, when you listen, I'm sure most people are gonna think he's taking shots at Megan, right? Oh. And then, you know, um, yeah, he got a joint with Sexy Red, that's cool. It's like a club joint. But that ain't the party I like. I like storytelling party. I like, and he, he's telling stories on here. I just like a different type of storytelling from him. You know what I mean? Long story short, don't ask me if I like something of yours in front of people if you don't know how I feel about it. Ugh, Especially if we cool. You're going to be honest about it. I have no choice. I mean, you do have a choice. That's yeah, a lie. Yeah, you have a choice. But What's the, I don't lie good. Say again? I don't lie good, yo. <laughs> I tried to lie to somebody the other day. Who the fuck did I try to lie to? The entire world. Who did I they, try to lie to, you yo? <laughs> you're actually pretty good at yeah, lying. Yeah, you're pretty good. Nah, not not. It's, I have it, lies ear, that I make. My ears got pointy and all that kind of. That shit. was true though. That really happened. Yeah. I yeah. almost turned into a werewolf. Yeah. I was right there until I got distracted by other third graders. What the fuck? Who was I talking to the other day? That was and I said that shit. That was good. Huh? <laughs> that was a good. Guy is just... That was really good. I did. I got distracted. It was in third grade. What was I talking try to, the to other lie, day? Try to lie to me now about how great Party's uh, song was. Just tell me the lie. I couldn't even do it. Just try. Just how would you say it if you were gonna try to lie? Yo, that new part is in Fontaine. Yeah. Yeah. Who did I talk? <laughs> who was I talking to the other day, yo? It was on air. And I lied to him. No, 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 no. I no, lied to him no, no, in no, the no. middle of the interview. No, no, no. What the fuck was it? Did you call yourself the, out online? I said I watched something. I lied. I was like, yo, that shit you did? The guy that we just had yesterday? Who was it? The restaurant eater. No, it wasn't him. I don't remember the who it was. Restaurant eater? I don't remember. <laughs> yo, I'm glad. Like, I can't believe, you, so I can't believe you guessed I was thinking so about party. Yo. <laughs> Why? Because there was no reason for you to believe that. You have one friend that's a rapper. No, I got a couple. No, he's your friend. And I, I'm not, I know I've known party. There's for only one person that you, in my opinion, you would feel bad being honest that you didn't like his music to. Party. Because you you really do like him. I like Party a lot, man. Yeah. Eddie's a good guy. I, don't, I think he's getting a bad rap right now. Cause I think you know a lot of people didn't know who he was when he started dating Meg. Mm -hmm. But you know he's a guy that's been moving and shaking behind the scenes for a little minute. Mm -hmm. He never intended to be a writer, but him but he Cardi, was writing for Cardi, Cardi. Like yeah, he made millions of dollars writing for Cardi. Did right? you ever ask him if it like how does he put himself in the mind frame to rap about those things? You gotta rap about sucking cocks and shit. Well, and that's, like, that's what Be Careful was. But here's the thing about getting about rapping about sucking cocks. We've had our cocks sucked. So you just gotta flip it. That's all. You know what I'm saying? It's not a hard thing to do. You're just rapping about, you know. But once you start. How, how you would feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you would feel if your woman went and sucked somebody else's dick. Like, when he wrote Be Careful, that's what Be Careful is about. He wrote from the perspective of a woman that was upset because of what her man was doing. And so she went out there and, you know, got some revenge cheating going on. That's not a hard concept to write about. You don't think so? No, I guess not. Yeah, everybody in there been cheated on. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of... Yeah. Nobody wants to think about that? No, it sucks, doesn't oh, it? Oh, shit. It sucks like cocks. Yeah. Um, what else we got, Taylor? Salute the party, though. Shout out party. Yeah, you, you, music is subjective. And I'm not saying sex tape is whack. I'm just saying that I like a certain music from Partisan Fontaine. And you want it more gritty. I want gritty, man. I want that dirty Newberg shit. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? That dirty Newberg shit. Make me feel like I want to fucking stab something with something, stab some, tell somebody with something rusty. Mm. You know? That's what I want. Um, I feel that. What is, what, what, what is, what is this? Listen, I'm humble. Yo, I'm Taylor humble, yo. is so high. It's what? unbelievable. Yeah, you, 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 you thought about all of these right after you smoked. Yeah. <laughs> Drew the Barrett Cowboys, Lord, aren't you Oprah. happy? Booth yo, what's going on, was Taylor? Not impressed with restaurant food. Dak Prescott what? leads Dallas Cowboys past Eagles. What's the point of this? You haven't had a brilliant idiot sports taken a long time, so you want one? I'll give you one. Dallas Cowboys are going to the motherfucking Super Bowl. Oh, you're back on. What you mean? I never was off. I've been saying this for 27 years, oh, every year. 
What are you talking about? They have a my daddy tased the Marine on 9-11 at MetLife Stadium, yo, <laughs> during the Cowboys-Jets game. Don't ever question our fandom. My dad has a tattoo right now that says Dallas Cowboys, six-time Super Bowl champions. You know how many Super Bowls we've won? Five. All right? <laughs> and he got that in 1990 motherfucking seven after the Cowboys' last Super Bowl. Way before people were doing things like, you know, putting more championships on their body than their team had. My dad did that in 97. Right. And it stood the test of time ever since, okay? Damn, and it is I my dream. I haven't won since 97? 96. 96 was our last Damn. Super Bowl. And I <laughs> want to take my daddy to a Super Bowl to see the Cowboys play. Oh, really? Before it's all said and done. Oh, it's, it, I don't care what the price is. Legally, can he enter? Yes, he can get in. Um, He's not, like, banned from the NFL? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, he should not be. I know of. Mm. Yeah. I don't think he was. He got arrested. I don't think he got banned. He might be banned from MetLife Stadium. Yeah, maybe, mm. just, maybe just MetLife. Yeah, he might be banned from MetLife Stadium. But when the Dallas Cowboys go to the Super Bowl this year, because we going, baby. Wait, why do you think you're going? I haven't been watching. Are the Dallas Cowboys good? I We're 10-3. Everybody... We're number one in the division. We're number one in the NFC East. But I thought everybody was saying Dak can't do it. He can't take him there. We just beat the. We just busted the Philadelphia Eagles' ass on Sunday. Mm. They were like they're like one of the best teams in the NFL. Mm. We busted their ass on Sunday. We beat Seattle the week before. We got a very tough schedule the next few weeks. I think we play Buffalo, Miami. I think the Lions and then the Commanders. Commanders ain't shit, but Buffalo, Miami, Lions. That's a tough little threesome. But. I just think we going, man. I just think this is our year. I think I'll be in Vegas watching the Dallas Cowboys and Usher on February 11th. I thought Usher's done. Oh, no, Usher's doing the Super Bowl. Usher's doing the goddamn Super Bowl. But his residency. Mm -hmm. Yo, if you're Usher, do you just run that back? Oh, he's probably going to do a version of the same show. Everybody doing residencies now. Wu-Tang's doing a residency. In Vegas? Jodeci doing a residency. Yeah. I love that idea. I do, too. It's crazy how people used to think that Vegas residencies meant you were washed up. So who do you think changed that? Usher. I think even before that. Didn't, didn't Adele do it? I think, yeah, there's a few big marquee acts that did it that didn't have to. Like a Celine Dion wasn't washed up. She's uh, Madonna wasn't washed up. Didn't Britney up. Spears do it? Yeah, but Britney was <laughs> was washed. Like but Britney not washed, yo. Come on. Son. Britney is not washed. Yo, Britney book sold one point something million copies in a week. Because people want to see how crazy she is. No, Britney drop an album right now. Britney do Taylor Swift numbers times 10. Stop. You don't believe that shit. Stop. Britney Spears drops an album right now. She does two, three million in a week. Uh, what you gonna bet on now? <laughs> well, we always bet. But. You would bet but? What? But. Now you switch it. It used to be mouth. Now you, you like get... when I switch it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the whole, that's the whole point of having cheeks. Listen, if Bri you telling me if Britney Spears drops an album right now, she don't do over a million in a week? No. You're bugging. Nah. That's Britney fucking Spears. That's Britney, bitch. Don't ever act like that's not goddamn that Britney, Britney Spears. Britney, bitch, that is. Britney, is Britney can drop an album right now, no single, no video, no nothing. She's doing a million in a week. Her book did. Her book did like a million plus copies in seven days. Yes, because she's her been, book. Cause way harder to sell video. a book than an album. Way harder to sell a book than an album. Britney Spears selling a million plus, bro. You're crazy if you think otherwise. That's the. That's everybody. That's all of these girls go. So then why wouldn't she put out music? She's probably too rich to do it. She's busy as fuck. I mean, she's still doing the shows. Hmm. She still does shows. I thought she was still doing the show, so is the yo, residency done? Residency. Brittany, drop in 2024, yo. I mean, she might Prove have. me right. You don't think, why, what make, let me ask, okay, let me, let's ask this question then. What would Britney Spears sell if she dropped the album right now? I think she does maybe 300,000 first. You're crazy. You're crazy. A million copies. Honestly, it depends on the music. No, it don't. I think it does. Like, if the, if the music is fire, everybody's going to give it a listen. Million copies. Everybody gives it a listen. Million copies. Yo, here's the First thing. Week. It sounds crazy, but all she needs to do is have one song shitting all over Justin Timberlake, one song alluding to how her ex was just using her for money. Fuck boy Fetty. That'd be the name of the song. Fuck boy Fetty. Kevin Federline this. Mm. I was talking about the most recent one, but fuck it. Put on, forgot Kevin him. on there too. So if she just starts banging on people, they're going to listen Come on, for man. that alone. Come on, man. So you think she does... Bigger numbers than Taylor. Nah, I don't think it's bigger than Just Taylor. Just about. So Taylor, Taylor's, a Taylor's a million a week person. 
Her, the 1989 project did 1.5 in a week. Britney does those kind of numbers, yo. Uh, huh? <coughs> Easily. She got enough drama and shit. Absolutely. She put the AC on? She got enough drama and shit where she could actually... And she's Britney. I don't know if that has anything to... Oh, Bruh. yeah, get that middle finger going. P I'm going to see how much her book did in the first week, Taylor. It was like a million plus copies, yo. You know, how, Chris, how hard is it to sell books in 2023? Very hard. And she ain't even do no press tour. Mm. Britney ain't even do no interviews, no nothing for her book. Just threw out a book with a couple of fucking sound bites. Justin Timberlake saw Genuine and fucking started moonwalking and... You said that wasn't true, too. What? Oh, That's how much Spears likely earned for the woman in me. No, no, no. How much did Britney... No. Oh, Jesus Christ, Taylor. What? How much did Britney's book sell? Not how much did Britney sell for book. Oh. Jesus Christ. How much did Britney Spears' book sell? That's 1.1 copies of the Yes, there you go. 1.1 million copies of Britney's book in a fucking week. If you're going to buy a book, you'll listen to an album. Now, one That's listen isn't one purchase. That's, that's, the key. that's the tricky thing. But if the album is good, people will just keep listening. Okay, so I hear what you're saying. She has potential to do numbers. I, People clearly still care, in other man, words. Britney is a guy. I'm telling you, Britney is goaded, yo. I bet you if you talk to Taylor, any of them, they'll be like, yo, Britney was... I mean, Brit you know, of course, Taylor gives it up for Beyonce, but Britney was right. Britney's the one right there. Like, mm. who was a bigger act than Britney in, during that time? No, Britney Pop was act. crazy. Crazy. And it seemed like every woman that they put out was literally like a Britney... Copy. Copy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Until you got to know them. Everybody thought Christina Aguilera was a Britney copy until you realized, like, oh, she can really sing. You said what? Nah, Britney was first Britney and was Christina first. was second. Yo, Britney had black people singing I'm a Slave. <laughs> wow. Come on, yo. She might be the GOAT, bro. Come on, yo. Britney had black people she proudly might. riding around singing I'm a Slave, I'm slave yo. for you, too. Black people singing to a white woman. No think pieces about it, no nothing. No, no controversy, no backlash, no nothing, yo. Britney was my first concert. Slave for you. You hear that? <laughs> Britney was your first concert. A little poor, disenfranchised wow. black girl from Lower Darby. Uh, and how was it? <laughs> Britney Spears was um, her first concert, yo. <laughs> yo, your street me. card is revoked. My, my white best friend. What does that mean, white best friend? Was it not your best friend? I got a white best friend. Well, my first white friend was Thomas. She's not her best friend no more. What? She said, I'm back. Boy, you high as shit. Yo, she can't You never even speak. fucking left. She can't Tell me I'm back. Take a deep breath. How you don't leave the room and say you say I'm back? You high as shit, yo. No. You said I'm back. Yeah. You didn't leave. You high. I hate you. Squares Today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website. Engage with your audience and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue screen for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content, live videos, online courses, or newsletters, Create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every sin. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords, our most popular products and content. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because this episode is brought to you by Zipix Nicotine Toothpicks. This is a genius idea. So Zipix brings you a totally satisfying, convenient, and great tasting way to curb your nicotine cravings. I know some of y'all got nicotine cravings from those disgusting, awful things that hurt your lungs. Get off that. Get off that right now. Stop inhaling the smoke. 
and the vape oils. Now you can get your nicotine fix anytime, anywhere, without having to rely on smoking or vaping. No puff clouds of smoke, nothing, people looking at you weird. Zipix toothpicks give you an easier, healthier, and more discreet way to get your fix. They're available in six great flavors, and they have options in two milligrams and three milligrams of nicotine. Zipix are perfect for flights, sporting events, restaurants, and literally everywhere else that smoking and vaping are banned. They're also one of the most cost-effective nicotine products on the market. Zip Zipix also offers caffeine and B12-infused toothpicks if you're not a nicotine user or if you're trying to get away from your nicotine habit. Zipix has already helped tens of thousands of customers in leading healthier lifestyles and if you're currently smoke or vape, they can probably help you too. Make your lungs happy and Zipix nicotine toothpicks and try and try Zipix nicotine toothpicks. Ditch the cigarettes, ditch the vape, and get some nicotine infused toothpicks at Zipix. That is Z-I-P-P-I-X toothpicks. T-O-O-T-H-P-I-C-K-S dot com today. Get 10% off your first order by using the code. Idiots at checkout. Your lungs will be glad you did. Remember, you must be 21 or older to order. Warning, nicotine is an addictive chemical. Zip more, smoke less with Zipix nicotine toothpicks. Now let's get back to the show. Church announcements, what we got, shows? Uh, shows, theandrewshows.com, okay? We added another one in Miami, added another one in Dallas. We had another, uh, we added two more in San Francisco, uh, Austin. We got a show there as well. We have Houston. We have uh, Nashville. We have Atlanta. We added another one in Chicago, another one in Boston. Uh, TheAndrewSchultz.com. Go get those tickets to the Life Tour right now. Thank you so much to everybody who's bought up all those tickets, man. Um, I just want to tell everybody, make sure you go grab my man Doug Melville's book, Invisible Generals. It is available everywhere you buy books now. It's the latest release off my book imprint, Black Privilege Publishing. Simon & Schuster. Salute to everybody at Simon & Schuster. Salute to everybody that's been grabbing Doug Melville's book, man. He had a great interview on uh, CBS uh, Saturday morning this past weekend, man. They did a really great profile piece on him and Invisible Generals and, you know, everything he's trying to do um, as far as keeping his family's legacy alive and, you know, just making people aware of his family's legacy. So salute to Doug Melville. Make sure you go get uh, Alicia Renee's Unleashed for Love on um, Audible. Check out everything we got out on Audible. Unleashed for Love, Summer of 85, as well as Finding Tamika and the latest project we just put out, Broke Down Profits, uh, which is an audio scripted project, audio scripted crime thriller done by my man S.A. Cosby. Uh, stars Jonathan Majors, Brian Tyree Henry, Dasha Polanco. I think Do Donnell Rollins is on there as well. So make sure you go get that on Audible right now. What else we got, Taylor Gang? Pull up that takeoff story, man. I want to talk about that takeoff story. What's the takeoff minute. story? I want to see what Andrew's thoughts are on that takeoff story, man. What is it? I'm going to let you see it. Because right. this is very, 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 very wild to me. Wait, why? What and is people it? need to knock it the fuck off. Wait, what's going on? What's going on here? Taylor's high. That's what the hell is going on. Why, why you, you hating me because you high? Yeah. You come to work high, you mad at me. That makes Seems no like sense. Seems like a pretty good job. You come to work fucking high. Stop. Look okay. at Zelensky in the White House with Kamala. Oh, no. Just in there fresh, too. Fresh, looking clean. Spending that Spending money. Spending all that goddamn money. Let me see. Mm, 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 all right, mm, what do you got? Woman who sued Takeoff for rape wants his mother to be the defendant for lawsuit to continue. Come on, man. Wow. Come on, man. What sense does that make? Wow. First of all, rest in peace to Takeoff. You know, always sending healing energy to his family, for sure. What does his mother have to do with this? How could his mother be a defendant for a sexual assault rape lawsuit? Come on, man. Mm. Like, 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 what are we doing here now, people? So this woman wants more justice for herself. Careful with that bag. But she wants more justice for herself, and it's it's not enough justice that well, he's, he's never dead. got he never got charged for anything. He never got charged for anything. Right. I think the law, I mean, the lawsuit. I think the lawsuit was happening when he was alive. But what is the? How does that work? Like when you die, when there's a lawsuit against you, it's just over. I have right? no idea. You I could I, sue the estate. You could sue the estate. Well, is this a civil case or is this it's a, a civil case? Criminal. This is civil. Oh, so she just wants the bag. That's she's my trying point. to inconvenience. She's trying to inconvenience the mom, so that she can get the bag. Because the mom most likely has rights to the estate. I'm so sure. The, yeah. 
I'm sure. Oh, that's it. So this yeah. is just about, hey, I got to sue somebody. You got the estate. It's I just, need to get mine. I think it's just the way they title this. Is it's just saying, hey, I'm saucy. suing Takeoff. But, but no, they the want his is. mother to be a defendant. I think that, I don't what, think. His, what can his mother do in this case? His mother wasn't there. There just has to be somebody there. I wonder if it's not even she wants the mother. I wonder if it's the next of kin, the person who has all the uh, resources after death is the person who has to stand trial. Yeah. That's, let's, that's let's my read it. What does it say? On December, what did that say? 8th? Yeah, My uh, News LA reported the plaintiff who was suing take off for an alleged 2020 rape has filed court documents requesting the case continue despite the rapper's death last November. The woman is reportedly requesting take off's mother step into the defendant role in the case once she is the acting administrator, administrator of, his of, estate. of his estate. Exactly, yeah. A judge will reportedly make a decision on the motion during the next hearing for the case. How can you have his mother take the stand? His mother was not there that night. It, his it, mother doesn't know any details. She's, she's, like, she's, just, she's just the active administrator of his estate. So she basically controls all his money. And this girl wants to sue civilly, obviously, to get the money. And she's going to have to sue the mother because she's the active administrator. It says, back in August of 2020, an unnamed woman filed a lawsuit against the Atlanta rapper, claiming he had sexually assaulted her on June 22nd of that year. Jane Doe claimed she was at a party attended by Takeoff when he began staring at her, making her uncomfortable. She claims the rapper later saw her with... DJ Durrell. DJ Durrell, which sparked an argument between the two men. She then alleges Takeoff came into a room she was in and raped her, despite her objection to his sexual advances. Look, I don't know what's true and what's not true. I just... this. How do you go to somebody's mom and say you need to take the stand as a defendant in a situation like this? How could a mom even defend this? Like, her, the mom was not there in any way, shape, or form. It just feels yeah. like, you know, sometimes things just don't make any logical sense. And you know how sometimes things, something just doesn't feel right? Just yeah. ones that just doesn't feel right. Yeah. You know? Like, I don't how know. How does she even prove it if this is a he said, she said? That's situation. what I'm saying. If there's no kit, there's no nothing. I feel like if there was proof or evidence that she would have pressed for criminal charges already? Um, I don't know. I think people go for the bag first nowadays. Wow. A lot of times. Wow. You know, that's what it seems like. I think this, they, they take, the take the mic. Take the mic. What'd you say? I think the, in California, they dismissed it for not enough oh, evidence. Oh, right. It says right there, in April of 2021, the L.A. County District Attorney's Office decided not to pursue criminal charges in the case. Yeah. yeah. It's just strange, man. Yeah. The criminal civil thing always confuses me a little bit. Because it's like, yo, if you can't prove it criminally... Why should you be able to prove it civilly? Exactly. You know? And what is the reason for that? I have no idea. Chris, what's the reason for why civil lawsuits... I understand why... Like, for example, why can't you get proven guilty in a uh, criminal lawsuit and then, as part of the punishment, have to pay a sum of money? Like, why can't those things coincide each other? Why is there a completely separate trial for civil? Because one requires more proof than the other. And I guess one, one requires more proof. The criminal. The criminal. The criminal. But what we're saying is guilt There's is not guilt. enough proof for criminals. It shouldn't be enough proof for Yeah, criminals. like, we don't think you're guilty of it criminally, but civilly you're guilty of it. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? Because civil cases doesn't have 12 jurors. It also doesn't have beyond the shadow of a doubt, right? Yeah. It, it, it's such a strange But it thing. seems weird. So like, there's got to be a reason for it. And maybe maybe with the civil case, you have to prove, like, how it has impacted you and how it has hurt you. Like, how this situation that that person is allegedly responsible has impacted and hurt you. Whereas with criminal, it doesn't matter how you've been hurt by it. It's just, did that person break the law? Yeah. So I guess there are multiple things that you have to separate for the sake of the lawsuit. But it seems icky. Like, if you get your... This is it. If you get your criminal lawsuit dismissed, I don't think you should be able to sue for civil. If you convict somebody on a criminal, then you should follow up with civil. Absolutely. And that's an easy dub. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's tricky, though, because what if, say, you got sexually assaulted, but you didn't go get a rape kit or something like that, and you can't prove it? So that means you shouldn't get any justice whatsoever. Oh, like the OJ case would be the, probably the best known example. Well, yeah, but right. see, the OJ thing is there was two bodies, though. You know what I mean? Like, people did die. I'm just saying we had yeah, but we have innocent until proven guilty in this country, right? Of killing the two people, 
He was. He was. So he, he was shouldn't be able to be he charged was, civilly, yeah, in my he was, opinion. He was found innocent. You're if there's not enough evidence to say that this person is criminally guilty of an act, how can yeah. you say that they're civilly guilty? Of you know, if you call OJ a murderer, you can. You, is that defamation? It's defamation. Yeah. That's defamation. Yeah. You cannot say that he was found innocent in a court of law. What if you call him an unconvicted murderer? No, I don't think you can say that either. No. Because you're calling him a murderer. Yeah. What if you're like, maybe you're a murderer? Do do you think OJ did it? Well, not now. (laughs) 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 The fuck? You just trying to set me up? Yeah, he did. What the hell was that about? Yo, that was crazy. What was that about, bro? You're right. That was a terrible segue. (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) But no, I That was insane. Listen, you know what's so funny? I've been seeing that lately. I've been seeing people say they don't think he did it. And you know why? Because of his appearances on oh, yeah. is what it is. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's innocent now. He's too I'm funny. I'm telling you. People he's too funny. He's too charming. I'm literally seeing people saying, like, there's no way this guy. Bro, do you remember him no going on? I ever killed somebody. Do you remember him going on Wendy after he did it? Oh, I think I he went on. I think it was Wendy he went on, and he was so fucking charming. I did a two-hour interview with him. One of the most charming guys I've ever met. And, and so what happens in the, the, the conversation? Do you bring it up? No, it became very controversial because there were some people in my office who wanted me to bring it up. There were other people who didn't. Yeah. Somebody passed a knife around the day of the interview around my office. Passed a knife around? Yeah, they, like, they, as a joke. And like <laughs> H, HR got involved. <laughs> <laughs> that's, some, that's some shit I would do, yo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's some shit I would do, yo. Well, it was a white employee and a black employee got very upset about it. So it became like a whole HR thing the day of the interview. Why would the black employee get upset? Oh, because the black employee was somebody who thought OJ was innocent? Exactly. I mean, OJ, I mean, we don't, listen, he was found well, no. innocent in the court of law. OJ is innocent. In, oh, mm. in the court of law, OJ is Found innocent. innocent. Absolutely. Found innocent I think you could frame law. it like this. I would be oh, yeah, OJ is found innocent, yeah. I would be comfortable saying if I was on the jury based on the evidence I saw, I would vote for him to be guilty. If, 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 if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. That's Judith Regan right there sitting with O.J. Simpson. Uh, they were interviewing for a book that O.J. was supposed to put out with Judith Regan called If I Did It. He did Wild put out. boy. He did put out the book. Nah, they didn't put it out. They wouldn't let the, it come out. The book is out. Nah, the book never came out. I think they put out the, they put out the special. The cover. I've seen the cover. It's like I've seen multiple whatever. covers, yeah, where if is really small. Yeah, I thought they did put it, put it out, and that's the only thing that the family can get money on. No, I don't think they put it out, because this special was supposed to go with the book. The special came out recently, like in the last decade, right, Chris? Or am I tripping? Uh, Why were you interviewing it was, with him? It was published. Yeah. 2007. It's published. It's if I did it, but it's just the 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 cover is just I did it in huge font, and then yeah. if is hidden within the I in like the top corner. Well, I thought it was some controversy behind the book. They either was well, he, yeah. Why did you interview him, Chris? Um, I think it was, did he do Wendy Williams? Bro, I swear it's Wendy. Look it up on I YouTube. Did it, I did it the same day he had come from Wendy Williams. I did it for Premier Radio Prep, which really? was like the prep service for Clear Channel stations. It came out. God damn. OJ. It, was, it was right after 9-11. He talked a lot about Osama bin Laden. I remember that. OJ <laughs> really survived cancel culture, yo. Bro. In the realest of ways. It's crazy that he went to jail for stealing memorabilia. Oh, not payback. Murdering. Yeah. Oh, no, that was payback. That was payback. I know you bitch niggas from way back. <laughs> oh, really? All you old football players trying to advance, you getting nine years, take it like a man. Mm. That's what that that's what that was. Type in Wendy. He Williams. gave him nine years for taking back his own memorabilia. That was like, nah, we got he got away last hey, time. He did nine years for that. OJ yeah, did like that's nine. crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, OJ did like nine. OJ did nine. It's just amazing, man. I'm telling you, it is what it is. You know, they be having them on like every so often, and I'm really seeing people questioning whether or not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even though he was found innocent. What are they saying? I, they be arguing in the comments because people will be like, yo, I can't believe. You know, I ever thought this guy, you know, was a murderer, yada, yada, yada. And then other people would be like, he, he wasn't. He got found innocent, you know, in a court of law. Or Cam and Mace getting any flack for having him on? I don't, I don't ever see any, if so. Nothing, right? I don't ever see any. Yeah. They would be hypocrites to do that. Too many people have eaten off OJ, bro. 
Mm. Too many people have had OJ on their shows. People That's have a great point. Books. Like you can't get mad at. Yeah, at if he's Cameron on CNN, Mason. he's on MSNBC. Yeah. You're selling ads like, on him too, on, man. Too That's many people, a great too many point. Fox, that what we just saw was a whole Fox special. That thing that with Judith Regan, that was a whole supposed to be a yeah. whole special on Fox. So many people didn't eat ate off uh, OJ for people to get mad at. Would um, you guys interview Cameron Wendy? Would I do what? Would you interview OJ? I really don't know what they would be to talk about. I'm in <laughs> jail. I think what Cameron Mays is doing is smart because they're talking about sports. Yeah, and they have a guy who was an incredible athlete. One of the greatest running backs of all time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they're not on there talking about what OJ did. Like, they're literally getting his hot takes on sports. Mm. And he's killing it. Yeah. 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 What else I we got, it. Taylor? Yo, is, uh, is it over for Ye, bro? Sure. What? Over for Ye? Yeah. As in Kanye West? Musically. Um, I'm hearing snippets from these songs, and it's like, hater, I'm not a hater. I'm, 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 I, didn't I ask that question this morning on Breakfast Club, Taylor? I literally said this morning, I go, it's going to be interesting to see if Kanye West can recapture people musically. I don't think he got it anymore, bro. That I, I, Backstreet Boys sample was fire. Nah, it's doo-doo. That flip it's, was it's fire. Doo-doo. You're a hater. It's <laughs> doo-doo. I got to hear the whole song. And he didn't get it cleared. That is true. So oh, it, definitely not. Is there any Jewish people in Bash Street Boys? No, well, they don't know the music. Yeah, they, <laughs> nobody, they're, they're, yeah, he's not getting that sample. No, he's not getting it. But like, in fact, he probably got a cease and desist today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He probably got a cease and desist today. If what the internet says is true, when these is. record labels are owned by Jewish yeah, people, yeah, yeah. he got a cease, cease and desist today. today. Yeah. Okay. But uh, still, it's well, he's not finding nobody. It don't bang, bro. That shit's hard. That shit's hard, bro. No, Backstreet Boys song is hard. No, but this is not an improvement on the Backstreet yes, Boys. Yes, it is. We heard it. It is a clear stop. improvement. Stop. stop it. Stop. Stop. It's not a clear improvement. Stop. It's Come an on, improvement. Stop it. Like, it's not like act like everybody you don't slap, like yo. How black people feel. No, it like slaps, but it's white people fire. Get on our shit. Can what I do you mean? You sound like how black people feel when white people get like... Like when white people make your... Like black people think's cool? Like cornrows and shit? Like when we popularize <laughs> no, their stuff? No, more like kind of... <laughs> like I fuck with Justin Bieber, but you know how they were saying like he's like trying to be black. Ah, uh, like, so I think Kanye's trying to be white? No, no, I no. I think he's sampled some of the most amazing songs in history and made even more amazing ones. Like I can name... Um, I can name 20 songs that he's reconfigured to make even better than the original, and they're fucking remarkable. This... Why are you such a fan of Do that? we know this song is re not remarkable? We only heard a sample. We only heard, like, I'm saying right. from the sample, it's worse than the original. Is that what I was going to say? Do you think that it's such a classic that it can't even be remixed? Yeah. Basketball exactly. is different. That's what I, was like, that's I think you can it. remix it, but not this. Like, this is... Dink a dink a dink a dink a dink a dink a dink at the end. Like, what is that? Whatever. I want to tell y'all something, man. But Bullshit. You don't say believe it. it. I'm going to tell y'all something. It's going to get me in a lot of trouble, but I don't give a fuck. Oh, I like it. The Illuminati has keywords. Okay. I'm not supposed to say this. But the Illuminati has keywords. And the Illuminati keyword... And it changes, right? Because sometimes it's the keyword for 30 days. Sometimes it's the keyword for 60. Sometimes it's the keyword for 90. But if you just pay attention sometimes, you'll see what the keyword is. What y'all are going to see a lot of now is the word everybody. You're going to see everybody a lot. Kanye has a song called Everybody. What's the big record off Nicki Minaj's album that everybody likes? It's called Everybody featuring Lil Uzi. You saw Northwest, and that's how the Illuminati get you. They get you with the kids, right? So you saw Northwest did a TikTok to everybody as soon as it came out by Nicki Minaj. You see her on stage singing. So just pay attention. I'm not supposed to tell y'all this. I can get in a lot of trouble. Mm. But... The key word for the Illuminati for the next, I don't know how many days it's going to be, probably till Super Bowl, February 11th, is everybody. That word can unlock a lot of doors. Y'all going to be seeing that word 
a lot, and y'all gonna be hearing that word a lot over the next few months. Hmm. Everybody, watch. Trust me, watch. It's gonna be like December twenty fifth. Everybody's celebrating Christmas. You know, <laughs> New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, Alex, no, Alex, Alex, you, 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 you can't get it. I'm trying to get you in, but you got to stop doing that. Uh, you're right. My bad, my bad. My bad. Tell us, tell us. New Year's so Eve, New Year's Eve. You're gonna hear like everybody's waiting for the ball to drop. Everybody, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gonna be like, damn, everybody wishing me happy, happy New Year. Like you gonna yeah. hear that word a lot. Just pay attention. I just want y'all to pay attention. Remember. You gonna be thinking about it. you're like, damn, Charlamagne said I'm gonna hear the word everybody. Yeah, a lot. Everybody. That is the that is the Illuminati's keyword for at least the next probably. It's usually thirty to ninety days. They switch it up, mm. but for like the next thirty to ninety days, everybody is the Illuminati um, keyword. So everyone who's saying everybody is Illuminati. Yeah, I mean it's like it unlocks things. It's like a, it's like the the like the the the, 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 the words you say. For certain doors, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell y'all no more though. I'm what's gonna, I'm gonna on the back it. of his everybody, uh, everybody, jacket? Everybody, everybody, everybody. What's on the back of Kanye's jacket? That's another thing you see everybody doing. Ooh. What? What's we, on the back of jackets. Kanye's jacket? You don't Press? notice everybody in New York's wearing jackets right now? <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Chris. Yeah, enlighten us. Schultz. Chris. Schultz. Let me tell you exactly what it is, guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Is that some German shit? Is he like dog whistling a little yeah, bit? Look, yeah, it looks a little SS ish. It looks a little SS ish. Mm. Or sure? it looks you're Albanian. Paranoid. You're not paranoid, nah, Chris? It's German. It is? It is? Yeah. You know that for a fact? Yeah. What is it? Uh, something with their arms. Something. We just spoke about this. I shit. wasn't listening to it. <laughs> Why is Kanye antagonizing? But it people? was after World War II. What does that mean? Like it's almost like the sign for their military, but after <sighs> the Nazis. So, mm. wonder why he's antagonizing. Why would he want to antagonize the Jewish I mean, maybe people? Maybe he just like thought that. the symbol was fire. Nah. Oh, that's what that is. Anti-Semitism are promoting new song. Kanye West wears double eagle shirt. Reminiscent of Nazi symbol. Mm. Oh, so it was the symbol. Uh, here we go. The famous and controversial rapper posts short videos of himself wearing a shirt with a double ego logo reading vultures. The symbol was used by Nazi Germany during the Holocaust, but Wes has dropped a new song titled Vultures. Y'all gonna stop putting Nazi on. Kanye gonna stop putting Nazi on himself. <laughs> Ain't nobody putting who the fuck is putting that? Nobody put Nazi on Kanye. Kanye did all of that on his own. No, everybody okay? needs to shut up. Everybody, all right? You see what I'm saying? Mm hmm You see what the yeah. fuck I'm saying? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Y'all don't even realize Backstreet Boys, everybody was an initiation song. And that's the thing about those words. Mm. The words, they also recycle the same words every like such and such amount everybody. of years. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Rock your body. And y'all don't even. The, cra the craziest part is yeah. everybody. What is everybody? <laughs> right, this is the last thing I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna leave it the fuck alone because I just said too much. What does everybody body. rhyme with? Oh, what does it rhyme with? Everybody. Illuminati. Everybody. Illuminati. T everybody Illuminati Everybody Illuminati Everybody Illuminati Everybody Illuminati Come on I'm now, I'm telling bro. you, I'm trying to, I, I've said too much. Drop, said too much. drop 16 bars on him right there. I've said too much. I've said too much. Yo, drop 16 yeah. bars on him right there, Taylor. Fuck. What happened, Chris? Fuck you mean. <laughs> yeah, right. Yo, do you have 16 bars for him real quick? Chris. Me? Yeah. I was going to say they used that, that code in the 80s, too. What'd they say? Remember Cheers theme 
Oh my God. Everybody knows your to, name. Chris, I don't want it. You're going too far, Chris. I don't want to say. I Everybody want, knows your name. You're giving away too much, Chris. I'm telling you. I didn't want to say anything. I want to go where everybody people, knows your name. I want everybody to find it out on their own. <laughs> <laughs> and you're always glad you came. Oh, he needs dun, to flip dun, that. Dun. That would be a hard beat. I want to be where the people are. <laughs> people are all the same. People right. are all the same. I want to go where. Mm. Knows your name. My, you know, I didn't want to. I'll tell y'all this too. My one of my humiliation rituals. They wanted me. What they do? They wanted me to come out as an artist, and they wanted me to flip cheers. Oh no! And they wanted me to call it queers. And did you do it or not? No, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. They had the lyrics written and everything. Sometimes you want to go where, where they everybody take the knows and your turn game. Them upside down. No. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and and they're everybody all just glad just you're gay. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you want to go where people see that buttholes are all, all the same. same. Mm -hmm. You, you want to go where everybody knows you're gay. Queers was filmed in front of a live studio audience. That's, I didn't do it. That's the humiliation ritual. That's what they wanted me to do. They wanted me to do this song over. That would be my first single. Straight up. I've said too much. Wasn't that Friends you just sung? No, that was Cheers. That was Cheers. That was Cheers. I thought what I sung was Cheers. No, bro. Was we were both singing, singing Cheers. Song. See? Sometimes you want to go when everybody, everybody knows, knows your name. name. Dun, dun, dun. And, and you're all just glad you're gay. gay. Dun, dun, dun. You want to be where people see that buttholes are all the same. <laughs> you want to go where everybody knows you're gay. You're fucking gay. Big L. <laughs> Yo, big, big L. L like the rapper. Big, big L. L. Big L. 139 like and Lennox is the danger zone. Big L like the rapper. Did you not? Did you not? Did you not yes. get it? Did you not be gay before? You were. You were gay. You told us. Tell us about the lifestyle. Where you was gay, Big Al. Right. <laughs> Tell us about the Big lifestyle. Al. Big Al. Al. What are you projecting? Big uh, Al. Casualties of a dyke game. You said you told the <laughs> oh, young fire. lady my name that's is Big fire. Al. Come on. Casualties Come on. of a dyke game. <laughs> flamboyant <laughs> for fire. life. That's yeah. flamboyant for life right there. <laughs> Come big on. L. Yes. You said you told her I'm Big L. Lick the crack in my Liberty Bell. Woo! Philly. Woo! <laughs> that shit is super lesbian. You're super lesbian, bro. That's crazy. Taylor, you need to chill the fuck out with that. Listen, to answer your question about Kanye. Please. Yo. To answer your question about Kanye. How, Kanye, how come the water gets bigger and bigger every time he God. goes to grab a new bottle of water? <laughs> it's twice the size. Uh -oh. Charlamagne, what's happening, bro? Uh -oh. You know who drinks Essentia? Who? Everybody. Mm. Yo. Mm. Yo. I feel like this is a great um, scary movie. Hi, y'all. Arrange I'm it. just telling. I'm just trying to put people on the game. You know what I'm like, saying? This just sounds like a Jordan Peele type of like. I'm gonna get in trouble for this, yo. When y'all yo, tell me, tell me, blog, uh, don't run with this. This the one I don't want y'all to run with because I don't want. Don't this one, run with it. Yeah, please. I don't want this to go. I don't want this to go viral. I don't want this to be the one. Please. Yeah. Don't 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 say Charlemagne gives out Illuminati cold words. Don't let that be the headline. Okay. Listen. To answer your question about Kanye. Yes. Kanye versus Kanye is a real thing. Kanye set the bar so high musically mm -hmm. that he will never be able to recapture that ever again. He'll always probably make good music, music that you'll listen to and be like, okay, this is dope. But you just not going to get better than the things he's done. It's kind of like when Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson made Off the Wall, Michael Jackson made Thriller. Michael Jackson never musically made anything a complete body of work to that level again of those two albums. Mm, okay. Bad is dope, Dangerous is dope, but I'm talking about like musically, you just never get to that ever again. Like those were moments mm -hmm. in time. Everybody in this room oh. has a moment with Kanye. You have a favorite Kanye West record, a favorite Kanye West album. Like there's people who have told me they went to college because of Kanye. Like Kanye just can't recapture that ever again. And it's not his fault. Couldn't you say that about most artists? 
No, because there's not too many artists who've gotten to that rare air that Kanye got musically. But I feel like most of the greats, you're comparing them to their earlier work, and people say it's not as good. Give me an example. Jay-Z, Drake. I disagree with... I, to, I heavily disagree with Jay-Z. You think it's gotten better and better? I feel like 444 is Jay-Z's best album. <clears throat> Watch the Throne was incredible. Like, later albums were fantastic. That, that's what I mean. Jay-Z's had, like, a very, very incredible run. Like, you know, Jay-Z's one of those guys who whose projects really did get better and better and better. Like, Reasonable Doubt came out, you know, In My Lifetime, Volume 1, In My Lifetime, Volume 3, the Dynasty album, fucking Blueprint. Like, like yeah. But then after, I would say, Black Album, there was a few that people would consider some duds. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say four, four, duds, four, but were... not complete bodies of work. Yeah. I, I love I love 4044. I think BP3 got some real gems on there. Already Home is one of my favorite Jay-Z songs of all time. It's so but, I, but I don't even put... Jay- Jay-Z is a great rapper, and he makes great music. Kanye is just a great artist. Mm. You don't get too many people who are great artists like Kanye. Kanye is in very rare air, yo. Like, very, very rare air. And I think especially when you're a rapper, it's hard to capture people's attention like that ever again. Also, like, <clears throat> when it seems like you're distracted with other things. Like, you know, making art or making music is not something that's easy, especially if you're going to be fantastic at it. Like, it's something you got to work tirelessly at. I was wondering, does Kanye even still want to be doing this shit? Like, when I look that's, at when know. I look at him over there, and I don't even know where he's at. I think he's in Miami right now, but when I see him running around Miami or Dubai, wherever he's at, and he's with all the rappers and he's performing, do you really want to still be doing that at 46 years old? When at when just a couple of years ago, you was printing money with Yeezy. Like you yeah. was, you didn't have to do nothing. Now you got to do want shows. To. Now you got to perform. Yeah, who at wa- nightclubs. Nah, man. You got to do all this work so people care. Your girl got to walk around with her fucking blanket. I mean, it's just like, yeah, I can't imagine this is fun. That's yeah. I, that's that. If somebody does talk to Kanye, because I know him and Ty Dolla Sign got this album coming out. If somebody does talk to him, that is one question I would really want to know: Was it worth it? Is there anything he would do differently? Because there's really no reason for him to have burned his relationship with Adidas to the ground the way he did. Yeah, I don't think there's a reason for that. But if you love the thing that you're doing, he probably enjoy still enjoys doing that. Like. Let's say if anybody fell off, but you fell off your craft that you love doing, you're still going to enjoy doing it. If you say so, man. Hey, you know, I can't sit here. I, I, I don't know. I can't sit here and say he's not. He doesn't. You know, it just yeah. feels like it just craft. feels like a lot. When I see that, when I as a 45 year old man, <laughs> when I see another 45 year old individual out there having to do a lot of that stuff, it looks exhausting to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it also feels like the craft has transitioned from art to attention. Art to attention. Oh, that's been there. Yeah. When I look at like Beyonce on tour this summer, and I see Jay Z at the shows because he's supporting yeah. his wife, yeah. and his his daughters on stage. That's dope to me. Yeah, that's fire. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Even Drake. It's aspirational. Drake looks like he's just enjoying life. Like Drake yeah. ain't stressing. Like. He puts out music when he wants to. He ain't really tripping off doing, you know, and he ain't busting his ass to be acting and all of that stuff like that. He just in the Turks and Caicos, riding on jet skis, living his life. I'm like, going to do the thing I love. Yeah. I'm going to perform the art that I love. Yeah. And then I'm going to enjoy my time. Yeah. And That's I was, beautiful. And I'm not saying Kanye's not enjoying himself. He, he might be. I'm just saying I wonder if he I think enjo- I think he enjoys the attention, but the question is, if it is attention art, and if it's not an art... Now you're just doing nonsense to get attention. And that's when people start to lose respect. We respect artists. And if artists are weird and they do fucked up things, yeah. we can kind of look the other way because we love the art. The art's so rare. When people would just seek attention and do fucked up things, that's when we really start judging you. That's when we're just like, bro, what a corny thing to do. You wasted all your talent. We look at you like you're a first-round draft pick that just, just really couldn't hack it in the league. There's only one... Uh, there's only one group of celebrities who I think have turned attention in the art. I never thought about what you just said. I just I just always look at attention as attention, but the way you worded it just now was very, very dope. You said, is attention art? I've only seen one person, at least in my lifetime, Ooh. do that. The Kardashians. The Kardashians are the only people I've ever seen turn attention not art to me, though. into art. It's not art. Well, you what don't would think you so? say the art is that they're doing? 
I mean, it's an art to the empire that they built. I don't know if it can be duplicated. I that's skill. The, the, yeah, that's strategy, but it's not art. You're talking about like a Hindu oral model. Oh, you mean actual art? Yeah, yeah. No, I, like... No, but he said attention. He said you turn attention but I, like, into art. Interviewing is art. Radio is art. Comedy is art. Music is art. Like, all these things are, are art. Attention for attention's sake is not art for me. But see, that's what I mean. I think the Kardashians turned attention into commerce. Like, I think they might be the only ones so who I'll, literally... I'll make an argument for okay. that. They're, I think they're the only ones. Everybody else just out here looking goofy as fuck. You getting likes and all of that shit, but you ain't making no real money. Their ability to, like, create storylines... Yes, man. ...in their shows and have those storylines... Affect reflect, society. Not only society, but, like, get us invested in them, want to see these storylines, uh, I guess, continue or come to fruition or whatever the hell it is. Like, at the end of the day, writing story is an art. Like, it's the oldest art, you could argue. Like, they're, the best, they're one of the best at it when it comes to reality TV. And they've been writing stories. So if, if they're incredibly involved in the story arcs that are playing through their show and they're literally doing all these things in their life that will amplify those story arcs, yeah, I guess you could give them a little bit. They have mainstreamed so many conversations that weren't mainstream. For example? I can argue that the transgender, transsexual, or just trans conversation, whatever you call it, was mainstreamed because of the Kardashians. Mm. I can I can argue that. I can argue that mainstream America wasn't discussing trans issues like they are now before Caitlyn. She definitely, you know, she definitely normalized things for the right because she's a conservative trans person. So Well, that's when she lost people. But she gained the most critical side of trans. Do they rock with her though? They don't rock with her, but they rock with her beliefs, which normalizes her to them. You see what I'm saying? Do they rock with her beliefs though? A hundred percent. I don't know if conservatives rock with... Philosophically, you're just going to agree with the people who agree with you. They're not going to oh, say oh, this. Oh, you mean like her conservative beliefs, yeah. not necessarily her LGBTQ But someone beliefs. who agrees with you when you have massive opposition, all of a sudden is someone reasonable. If half of the country hates what you're saying and what you're doing, yeah. all of a sudden somebody who's coming over and going, I agree with you and I think you're right. I also see, I also believe that way. You'd be like, all right, yeah, they're trans, which is some weirdo shit, but they got some good points. Yeah. So it's normalized her to a group of people that are pretty much against every fabric of her being. I would have to take a poll. I don't think conservatives rock with her LGBTQ views. I, I, I think that's one I of the didn't reasons. I say that. Oh. I say they rock with her conservative views. But, the but I don't think they fully claim her because of she's trans. Of course not. But she That's why I think George Santos got kicked out of Congress. Because he's gay? Yep. What? <laughs> I think they gave him the boot because he's gay. You don't think because of all the I said this on lies? Daily Show. Was he a Republican? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I said this yeah. on Daily Show. You know Republicans like they gay is closeted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can be gay and conservative, but you got to be a closeted conservative. Yeah. You can't be no flamboyant conservative. Are you crazy? Yeah. You crazy? Yeah, that's so You don't is. think it's the fabrication of his entire existence? Po come, politicians politicians lying. all lie. Yeah. Politicians, politicians misappropriating all funds. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I don't the, think. That. Come on. I think he went a little too far. I don't. What? What? what, what come on. Po come on. Elected officials using campaign funds for other things. Buying a, some makeup. I think we mean? spoke about this on the pod, but like... If you buy boats and houses and shit with campaign for, like, come on. He's, he's like, he's an example of culture changing for me because he didn't lie about what he's going to do to help people. He lied about what he's been through. And that was enough for people to vote. They're yeah. like, oh, you're disenfranchised, you're gay, you're these other things. I'm going to give you my vote because I'm supposed to vote for people that are in those situations. It's a cultural turning point. Usually we want our politicians to lie about what they're going to do for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah in this yeah. circumstance, he's, he lied about what he was he had been through. Yeah. And that was enough. Which is crazy because Republicans don't do that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like, Republicans don't do the identity politics. They're not with the struggle. Well, no, I guess they like, no, they like, they like come up stories. Yeah. Pull them up by the bootstrap stories. Yeah. They like that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, yeah, I just think, I think the Kardashians, um, 
There's a, there's some case studies to be done about the Kardashians and as far as entertainment. And 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 I think the Kardashians are a blueprint that cannot be duplicated. I think a lot of people think they can duplicate it. It's tough. It's 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 virtually impossible. Also, keeping the family together, like, it, how hard is it for a band to stay together? How hard is it for, like, the family has stayed together yeah. outside of the dad chopping his shit off. The family <laughs> has... Courtney and Kim have their kerfuffles. They have a kerfuffle, but then yeah. there it is. It seems like the family is in this together. So it's like, that is a very difficult thing to do. It's hard for... You guys have families. It's hard for you. Are y'all friends with every single person in your family? No. They have an extended family that seemingly gets along. That's difficult. And their business is interconnected. All that, that's what I'm saying, that's yo. That's fucking... How many billionaires did that family produce? Yo, Kylie came out of nowhere. Kylie sold y'all fucking lip liner with no lips. I mean... I mean, she had them lips. Well, she, she didn't have them at first. But she didn't sell the lip liner until she had them. Yeah, I okay, mean... Okay, you might be right. <laughs> All I'm saying is I think there is an art to what they do. Yeah. Because business is an art. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily. The art of the deal. You know what I mean? Art. You don't think there's an art to the deal? I think people throw around the word art. I'm just using it differently. I'm not talking about necessarily fine art. Yeah. But like uh, an, an emotion, an expression, an expression of feeling and sentiment that other people also have. Yeah. I don't think when you get like a legal document from somebody, you're like, oh my God, this is art. I just feel this emotion evoked through it. Like, Great point, what you just said. Is there another group of reality show folks, influencers who, who evoke the emotion that the Kardashians have done. Not even close. Not even fucking close. Not even close. Y'all don't care about none of All them other reality stars are so fucking disposable, yo. Yep. I don't care who they are, whether the, 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 the real housewives or whatever. Doesn't matter. The flavor of love. Y'all dispose of them. Y'all run through them. Y'all always looking for new cast members. Mm -hmm. Those Kardashians... People are invested in them in a right. way I've never seen. Like They've they, given they, up they evoke emotion. They've given a lot of their life. They've given up a lot of their privacy. Like that's that's a that's a sacrifice. Damn. You know what I mean? Like Tristan's on TV talking about cheating on his baby mama. Like that's that's a wild thing to just record with a fucking audio guy in the background, a video guy, a whole team of producers. Like that's a yeah. yeah. Oh my oh. god. You didn't say nothing. You can't even... Now, expound. When it comes to the hairstyles, and then it came to the surgery, like, I'm not going to lie that they didn't... So black anything. culture invented plastic surgery, too. No, I didn't say that. I'm That's exactly what you're saying. They're copying our bodies off, though. Y'all not the only ones with ass. Why it can't be Spanish culture? Mm. I mean, they definitely mm. look more Latina than they do black. Mm. I'm, at, I'm, saying, I'm asking, why it can't be Spanish culture? It could be. And by the way, I don't even know if Armenians are built but like that. Are Armenians built like that? Listen, I don't know. Middle Eastern folks got got some bad ass. Oh too. yeah, yeah, they all do. All that little dancing and shit. Where do they you think do. that comes from? You need they hips do. to do that little they dancing. Do. They do. That's all you got? Hairstyles and body type. Um, yo, I'll pull up the yo. If they're not special, why aren't you do it? Oh, because you got the well, hairstyles and the body type. type. So no. You think it, that that's more, all it takes? You think if you put, you think you put out a sex like tape, them. you'd be just as famous as Kim K? Huh? If you, th you think if you put out a sex tape, you'd be just as famous as Kim I K? I would be, be. You know why? Because the only reason why <sighs> they got... You and Ray J do a sex tape right now. You don't think you could be as famous as Kim K? She already is the bar right now, so why would I be as famous as her? What I'm saying is, do you think the same career... If you and Ray J had, had a sex tape right now, would it work for you? No. Why? <laughs> Because the same reason didn't work out for Sexy Red. Like, Sexy Red had a sex tape with Ray J? No, I'm just saying. Sexy Red is popping. Sexy, sexy Red, Red is huge. Sexy Red said everybody a year ago. So do, do you think that you're just a sex tape came, away it came from and went, superstardom? Though. It came and went. Who? Sexy Red's sex tape. I'm saying mine's with I didn't even know she had a sex tape. I know. But no, but the question is, do you think you were a sex tape away? Like, do you wake up every morning like, man, if I just had a sex tape, I could be a fucking no, hundred million. Not at like, all. Do you? But do you? Is that something you have to fight every single day, knowing that that's all it would take for you to be superstar? And by the way, it's no. disrespectful for y'all to keep saying that Kim K came up off a of sex tape. You know how long ago that sex tape was? That was 13, 14 she's years ago. Still, still relevant. Her run is still going but, strong. But how did she come up? Like that's all we're saying. So that's how did crazy. so how did Kylie come up then? Mm. Kylie's off a billionaire too. 
You really believe that? Mm. Kylie? Believe Kim built, well, I shouldn't even just say Kim. Her mother, they did great strategy off their marketing. So Chris was around way before Kim ever came here, Kylie ever came here. Chris was married to Robert Kardashian, Bruce Jenner. She, she been, I'm just saying, like, give the, give the, give the dynasty some respect. This is a dynasty that preceded that preceded sex tapes. I'm not tapes. saying you can't. Uh, How many views them. you think your sex tape gonna get? <laughs> How many views do you think your sex tape would get? Low key, low key, a lot. Oh no, yeah, no, your shit'll pop. My shit, nah, my yeah. shit will go crazy. Yeah. If I give them the popcorn, nah, 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 your shit'll pop. If I start giving the girls the popcorn Shows like with that, the popcorn on you. If I start giving crazy. the popcorn like that, crazy. Pop, pop, pop. How do you pop. know, Charlotte? Cause me. everybody knows about the Orville Redenbacher. You ain't never heard about the <laughs> so, Orville Redenbacher. Once I put the Orville Redenbacher on, you don't it's be over. coming to Room Forty. That's your problem. That is, if you were at Room Forty, you would have seen you it. You don't ever come to Room Forty, yo. That's it. And, and honestly, you know why you can't get in the Room Forty? Don't even do it. Don't and I gave her the keyword. She can't. Even, she can't. I gave her no, the no, keyword. No, no, no. I gave you the keyword. You're not gonna come. You're not gonna come there, and you're not gonna make a big deal about her coming there. You're you know what the keyword to Room Forty is? She's not coming to Room 40. You don't 40. even remember. She's not you don't even know what Room 40, 40 is. And you that's don't even it. know what Room 40 fucking is. No, you're going to make her want to come. And that's... Nah, don't worry about it. Don't nah, worry about don't it. Don't do it. Let's move on. Because you know why? Because she tried to lie and act like she knew what it was. Or I know she, did. she didn't know. She that's did. why I moved. You did. You, you was like, you've been I there before. Where is it at? No, you didn't. You said you've been there before and all that other stuff. You but did. you should be asking, what is Room 40? But you didn't. So but we don't, we're not even going to say it. Don't even worry about it. You want to pay some bills? What else we got? You want to ask? You want to ask, don't you? No, I really don't care. Okay, all right. Don't let her ask, because then it's going to be a whole... And she's going to be angry when we tell her what it is. I ain't even going to... I'm not even going to give it to her. She just started hating on the Kardashians for no reason. So crazy, yo. I didn't hate... The craziest thing is, you might have been there before. If I'm... Oh, oh, I don't care. No, but back to the Kardashians, like, I'm not... You don't know what Room 40 is? Really? You don't go to her ass. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like, I mean, I'm not going to finish my statement. Go ahead. Finish Talk. your statement. Ask it. What? Talk, pretty boy. Go. <laughs> we oh, call him pretty shit. boy. We oh, like shit. that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, was, I was hoping why, that was why, coming why, my why, way. I, I, I was about I get to invite you to room 40. Yeah. Why I get a compliment? <laughs> I was about why to. Why you gave me a compliment? I was about to invite so you get, to room 40. That, that weed that yeah. we got you telling the truth. Uh, Real talk. Uh, that weed got you telling the truth. That we got you telling the truth. Go ahead, pretty boy. She was talking to me. Chill out. Go ahead, pretty boy. You're invited to room 40, yo. Go ahead with your pretty little lips. Taylor, no bullshit. Next week. If you're in town, we're going to take room, you room 40. 40. 100%. Taylor said she was in deliverance just now. Go ahead, pray to boy. Go ahead, squeal like a pig, pray to boy. Squeal like a pig, pray to boy. You're coming. Taylor, are you around next week or no? Y'all ever seen deliverance? Do you want to go? Don't. No, she can't go. She don't know what it is. We're not telling her. Right. Until she asks what it is, we're not telling her. Okay. Steve Harvey. Salute to OG, man. Uh, we got to tell you about Elevate You. All right, Elevate You is something that's been keeping us feeling fresh, healthy, and energized lately. We've been doing brilliant idiots, you know, later in the day. Mm. And it's because of Elevate You. Elevate nice. You got us up. Those nice. Vitality Daily Greens, co-founded by Steve Harvey and formulated by Harvard scientists. All right, it's a game-changing formula that boosts your body's microchondrial production, providing you with sustained energy throughout the day. No more relying on coffee or unhealthy energy drinks to get you going. It's packed with over 30 superfoods, vitamins and minerals to feel energized, focused, and ready to tackle your day. Now look, I know how hard it is to stay on top of your health and nutrition game. Sometimes it feels like there just aren't enough hours in the day to get everything done, but with Elevate You, you don't have to worry about that anymore. It contains fruit, vegetables, and mushroom blend. 30 superfoods per serving, nine greens per serving, clinically studied probiotics, okay? It only costs $1.50 per day. You also have a 60-day money-back guarantee. If you are not 100% satisfied, they'll refund your full purchase price, all right? I just told you about all the nutrients and vitamins that's in it, and you need it to keep your body running like a well-oiled machine. And the best part, it's super easy to use. Just mix a scoop into your water or juice, and you're good to go. And it comes in three delicious flavors, chocolate, tart cherry, and original greens. And check this out. Elevate You also has a 60-day money-back guarantee. I told you that already. Mm. If you're not 100% satisfied, they'll refund your full purchase price. Take control of your health today and experience more daily energy with Elevate You Vitality Daily Greens. Go to ElevateYou.com, L-E-V-A-T-E-Y-O-U.com, and use promo code idiots for 15% off your entire purchase. That code is for everybody. 
Use promo code IDIOTS for 15% off your entire purchase. Let's get back to the show. You still don't know what Room 40 is. Let's do some asking idiots, Taylor. Yeah, let's go. I've revoked my invite. Yeah, she's not going. I was going to set that up for Wednesday. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That show would have been cool. Mm. Mm -mm. We can actually still go. Yeah. Oh, I'm in it. All right. Going? No. Okay. We'll go. Chris, you want to come now that we have an extra seat? I appreciate that. All right. Chris knows what Room 40 is. Exactly. Chris asked. Because he actually cares. When you and ask, he, you get to go. Yeah, it's, it's that simple. All you have to do is show a little interest in what we want to do. Why would you not even show hey, don't interest? Don't text us later. Don't text yeah. us later. Yeah. Okay. Just show interest, yo. Can you show interest, Taylor? Taylor. <laughs> what? Just show interest. Is that, would that make you Yes, it would. Interest? It really would. Okay. It, What's room 40? Do you want room for these nuts in your mouth? You fucked it up. You fucked it up, son. Hey, where do you? No, hey, you just go. You just room for these nuts. nuts. Come son, on. How did you fuck that up, son? Son, how? How on earth? I knew that was going to happen. How is it? He fucked it up. You did great. Charlamagne. I did. It, it was son. right there on a silver platter. Son, I don't understand. I don't understand. That was. One of the worst ones I've ever seen done in my life. <laughs> Come on. Damn. Yo, ask an idiot, yo. Ask an Bro, idiot. How? Ask I thought I had idiot, one, yo. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I thought that was the one. Idiot, yo. <laughs> I was so ready. Do you know what's so crazy? The like whole, it's Jeopardy. It the whole, it ain't Jeopardy. The whole room looked at me like, Charlotte, this is your time yeah. to shine. <laughs> And I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even feel right when I was doing it. I know. I know. I know. You went bigger because of it. You went bigger because of it. <laughs> All right. Give me these fucking questions, yo. Oh, oh God. B. Paul Moore underscore 14 oh, says, my lady thinks I'm gay when friends friendly with gay men. How can I stop that? That if you just got gay friends and you friendly with gay men, that something else going on, bro. Mm. Your lady think you gay because it's something else. Yeah. Your lady did like this and put that thumb back there and you ain't flinch. Something happened. Like, That's there, probably what happened. Yeah, there's, there's no reason for your woman to think you're gay just because you got gay friends. Well, first of all, are you gay? Men. How can I stop that? That is a good, yeah, because he's trying to say that. Like, Maybe you're trying to trick your girl. Yeah. Maybe you are gay. You don't mm -hmm. want her to know you're gay. So to, that, you got to make sure you're not gay first. Trying to throw her off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get her off the scent. Mm. Take a shower after you get fucked in your bookie. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> um, I don't have a problem. Like, I got mad gay friends, and I'm friendly, I'm friendly with everybody. Like, that, 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 there's no reason your woman thinks you're gay just because you're friendly with gay men and you got gay friends. Something else is going on that you're not telling us. All right, underscore, underscore, D Doom. What's the most irrational superstition that y'all have? I don't have any that's irrational. I know, this is so funny. Because you believe every superstition exactly. is completely rational. Absolutely. This is why I love I this question. I don't have none. There's no irrational superstition. I got the ladders one. I don't go under ladders. I'll cross the street if there's a ladder. I don't that's like That's not irrational. One. I agree. What about splitting the pole? That's not irrational. Uh, about what? Splitting the pole. Splitting the pole. I've never. Like I've you're never, with two people and you yeah. can't split the pole. That's. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Now y'all really? fucked me up. <laughs> yeah, that's. A, now y'all gave me a new one. That's what a you think splitting one, the pole so. was sharing a cock. That's kind of what I friend? thought. That's what I thought. I thought it was sharing a cock with a friend. I did. You ever shared a cock? I thought with it was a sharing no, a cock with a friend. I, I have it. I thought that's yeah. what you guys are asking. If it, if I have a superstition about sharing a cock with a friend, I. I mean, I've done that thousands of times. And now all of a sudden, I must be in for some bad luck. Who doesn't share cocks with friends, y'all? Yeah. You know another one that's not irrational? Stepping on a crack, breaking your mama's back. Yeah, I still don't try to. Why? Like, somebody's mama's back broke because yeah, somebody stepped oh, on so a crack. Also, we live in New York. There's too many cracks. We can't do that. that nah, that's... Because you're looking down because you don't want to step on shit. If you see the crack, you got to step over it. Like, yeah. it, it. I don't think it counts for the I cracks you don't see. I actively trying to step on cracks, but at the same time, there's going to be But cracks. if you look down and see one, don't tempt fate and be like, yeah, I don't you know what I'm saying? Fate. If you look like down them. and see one, just step over it. Oh, God. I'm not going to be able to walk home after this. Scroll, <laughs> scroll down, Next. Taylor. Next what else fucking we got? question, what, please. What about, Wait, what, what about um, if you don't look Next into question, your eyes Taylor. when you cheers? 
You had bad sex for seven years or some shit like that? Son, I must have. Let me see. Well, let me see the other ones. I haven't. I, I, <laughs> finished you finished know. that? What happened? Don't place two <laughs> mirrors opposite each other. Yo, Cannabis had one of the dopest lines ever in a rap verse. Yo, when Cannabis said, um, Cannabis said, uh, I, I reflect forever like two mirrors facing each other. Mm. The baddest, M other, F ucker. Let me break the style down so you don't have to wonder. I walk the B lock with the G lock, C op, trying to get the DR op on the C ops. Blow spots, capsize boats, shipwreck yachts, headshots hit you at 300 nautical knots. Call the cops complaining about the hip hop, getting Benjamins like the L ox that don't stop. Eh, 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 eh. Put away your burners, you can't service. My whole crew is allergic to being murdered. Metaphors is proof, I got more than just a couple screws loose. Latinos call me the black Jesus. So for all who believe in telekinesis and Jesus, I touch a paraphrase. Legic and heal them. Mm. Cannabis mm. was crazy. That was a DJ Clue freestyle. Mm. Phenomenal. Happy birthday too early. Celebrate not even. Yo, I don't want to know about all these things. These scare me. Can yeah, you just yeah. give me I'm to another? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Dead ass. Why would I don't people wanna. place two mirrors opposite? I don't want to know. I don't want to know these. Do you, do you not like scary movies either? No, I just don't like superstitious shit because I believe in it. Scary so the more I know. Superstition. Drive right into the mall. Why the fuck was Stevie Wonder driving to the goddamn mall? I mean, that's crazy. How did Stevie Wonder know it was writings on the wall? Stevie got to cut it out. Very superstitious. He's been, he been trying to tell y'all for years he could see. Writings on the wall. I saw Stevie, I saw Stevie one night. He see you back? <laughs> nah, but I saw Stevie, this was years, years, years ago. I saw Stevie in a hotel. Okay. He had a bad one with him. And I walked past him, I said, hey, Stevie. Get at him. Just in case there's any doubt. <laughs> you got one. <laughs> you got one. Did he hit you with the Cosby? I think he hit me with a head knob, but you don't really know, because he all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that, you know, I don't know if but that But you was, know the Cosby one where he was like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else we got? What else we got, Taylor? The monster says, Yo, Shaw, what's the secret to a successful marriage? <laughs> Why ain't Axe Andrew? Yo, fuck you. <laughs> I've been married longer. Fuck you. <laughs> the monster. The, 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 the secret to a successful marriage is compromise, and the secret to a successful marriage is simply love. You know what love. I'm saying? Love. If you love your partner, you know. It is what it is. Like, me and my wife been together 25 years. That's my favorite human on the planet. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Jelly Roll said that on Daily Show last week. I still, I'm stealing that for the rest of my life. Okay. It's my favorite human in, the, on, in, in any multiverse is my wife. So it's just like, yo, when you have unconditional love for a person, that's, that's the secret. You know what I mean? I don't even know what success, what, what is considered a successful marriage? Like, what? When two people love each other and they're that's, happy. That's what I would think, mm -hmm. you know? And I, 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 am, I am in love with my life, in love with my wife. I'm in love with our life together, and we're happy. That's, a, that's the key to a su successful this, marriage, man. This next one is good. Martine Thomas says, if your nut could cure any disease, would you tell the world or keep it to yourself? Like, and you have to nut on someone to cure them? I don't know if I could tell people because I'm not trying to just nut on people all day. What if, what if, what if, what if you, they had to drink your nut? Remember the story I had last week about the fucking dick sucking zombies? Yeah. The dick sucking zombies, <laughs> being a zombie is a disease. So you wanted to suck your nut so they could become back human again. And? You know that's what the sequel to I Am Legend is all about. Is that right? Starring Will Smith. And Will Smith just gets drained. He becomes like the a zombies are trying to out. suck his cock. Wow! To become human again, because he swallowed. If you remember the end, I am legend. He swallowed, swallowed the thing. potion, and then ran through the wall. And then the potion is in his system now. The potion only comes out through his nut. I oh, got I'm not supposed to be telling that. Fuck. Mm. I'll just just. Now I read a, a script. Bit. I read a script of. Just uh, give us a little bit. No, I read, I read the I Am Legend two sequel script. Oh wow! And that's what it is. It comes out through his nuts. So all of the zombies. They suck on his dick. They trying to suck his dick. Oh my goodness! That's yeah, the one yeah. with Michael B. Jordan, right? That's the one with yeah, Michael yeah, B. Jordan. You're right. That's right. That's the one with Michael B. Jordan. And are there are there? I mean, some of the zombies are underage. What what do they do in that Come situation? On, 
You know what happens when you put allegations <laughs> like that out there on people. <laughs> I'm just Come saying, on. it is. I don't know if that counts in zombie. I don't know how it works, but like, that is. You gotta trick. be 18 to be a zombie. <laughs> Yo, yeah, you know on. that, oh, Andrew. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. There's no Come such on, thing as an underage <laughs> zombie. I, I'm just, I'm just saying, we we found a potential, you know, flaw in the plan here. This is a tricky situation. You didn't see no underage <laughs> zombie. I'm just saying, they, they showing up for the cure, and you gotta be like. I need ID, yo. I can't be, can't be letting you get all cured up. Your fucking braces on. You know what I mean? Like, Damn. Come on. Man, Damn. this is a stupid ass podcast. You hear me? This is the stupidest podcast of all time. Even though we've been around for 10 years, this shit is the stupidest podcast of all time. If it was never two motherfuckers who didn't need microphones, <laughs> these people. <laughs> oh, man, as always, if you this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're brilliant, you think we're whatever. What do we find? How do we say it? Idiots. If you think we're smart, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. If you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.